Hey y'all and welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be filming a New Year's resolution video. I feel like a lot has changed in the past year, so I'm just really excited to show you what my resolutions are going into this following year. So yeah, let's just get started. Also guys, I just got my new phone. I thought I should share because in my last video, my what I got for Christmas, I was telling you guys how my phone hadn't arrived yet. It finally arrived. It's gold, it's super pretty. Also, I got my nails done finally. So I think I have about nine or ten resolutions on here. Another thing I want to mention before getting into the video is that I kind of structured my resolutions differently this year. Instead of saying like exercise four times a week, I kind of just changed the sentence structure up so that I'm kind of like wording it as like an affirmation. And it's kind of telling myself like more like this is what's going to happen. I'm committing to doing this. You guys will see when we get into it. My first resolution is I commit to exercising at least four times a week. Um, and another thing is obviously I know I'm not gonna be perfect. There will be some weeks where I'm not gonna exercise four times a week, but I thought that was a good goal. It kind of like meets in the middle, like it's about half of the week. So some weeks I may exercise a little bit more, some weeks a little bit less, but I wanna try to aim for four times a week. And how I'm gonna stay committed to this goal is I think I'm going to hang it up in my room. And then also me and my mom got like an unlimited Orange Theory membership. So I'm so excited. Like that'll really help keep me accountable in the fact that I usually work out with my mom or sometimes with my friends. That will also really help me out. Honestly, recently I've not been on my workout grind, but that kind of weird time between Christmas and New Year's, I feel like no one is really like on it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like the relaxing period. I'm just kind of allowing that for myself before I start off the new year with a bang. The next resolution is I commit to participating in social media list Sundays. Social media list Sundays are a thing I started probably back maybe like three or four months ago. I'm not quite sure. And I think just having that one day off where I don't go on social media at all. I don't go on Instagram unless it's for like a YouTube related thing or I'm wishing our friend happy birthday and I want to post. I don't go on TikTok. I do go on Snapchat though because like that's how I communicate with my friends. And personally, unless I'm spending like hours watching people's stories and like getting FOMO, like I feel like Snapchat doesn't really have a negative effect on me, but too much Instagram, too much TikTok can definitely have that effect on me. So I think the social media list Sundays are a perfect detox to begin my week. And a great thing about that is they're free. Anyone can do them, anyone can participate in them, and they have lots of benefits. So my next resolution is I commit to reading at least two books a month. So that'll total out to about 24 books a year. I kind of chunked it as two books a month because I feel like that's more like manageable as opposed to like 24 books a year. That sounds like a lot. Um, the past year or so, maybe like almost two years actually, the beginning of quarantine, I've been getting back into reading, which has been so, so great for me because it provides something else for me to do besides just, you know, go on my phone. The next one is I commit to lower my screen time to two hours a day by December 2021. Let me go, I'm gonna go to my screen time and just kind of like see, cause I have no idea honestly what it's right now. Three hours and 20 minutes. Okay, I feel like that's not too bad. And I spent a lot of time on my phone online shopping resolutions are about bettering yourself and they're not for anyone else like it's not a competition you know what i mean so if it turns out like two hours a day screen time is just not that's just not gonna happen at least lowering it by like 15 minutes or half an hour that's like something you know i commit to challenging myself monthly so the kind of things i'm thinking of are things that are kind of going to scare me a little bit, but obviously like they're safe. It's just kind of out of my comfort zone that are going to kind of challenge me to be a better person. I think that is really gonna be great for me, especially because next year at this time, I'm gonna be in college, which that's actually insane. I'm graduating in five months, guys. Like that just doesn't even sound real to me. Like maybe when I first move into college for like that first month, every single week, I'll try to make a new friend, talk to a new person, etc. Because that kind of puts me out of my comfort zone a little bit. I just things like that I feel like will really help me to have a better year. And then also just like help me create like a very memorable experiences. So the next thing is I intended to get into my two dream schools. I've actually already gotten into two schools, which is so, so amazing. San Diego State where my dad went and Chico State. And they have a really good education program because... I don't think I've ever announced it on here, but I want to be a teacher. I'm just so excited for college, guys. Like, it's actually crazy. This is one of those ones where I feel like I don't have as much control over, you know what I mean? Really, the only thing I can do is just put my best foot forward and work really hard on my essays, which I've been doing over break. I'm almost done. 
three more to apply to, so very exciting. And if you guys are juniors this year, just know that senior year is definitely very challenging. Once you finish applying to colleges, it's going to get a lot better. And honestly, senior year flies by so quickly, much faster than my other three, oh, my other three years of high school, so yeah. Definitely. And for my fellow seniors, you guys have got this. The next one is about being on time because I am late a lot and I feel like I just, I time block, but I don't always allot enough time for each activity because I kind of think like, oh, no, 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 I can get ready in 20 minutes. And in reality, it might take me 40 or you know what I mean? And I just know I feel so stressed out when I'm late. Like literally, I remember, oh my gosh, it was Halloween actually. On Halloween, I woke up late and then I had to walk Cooper because my dad didn't have time because he was also running late. And I remember I the parking lot was full because our school is a really tiny parking lot. So I had to drive in the, into the neighborhood, had to find a place to park, and I walked seven minutes to class. The point of that story is I like came to class feeling so scrambled and like really upset. And obviously it was like embarrassing, you know what I mean? Like you when you walk into class, you know, like, the last one, everyone looks at you. So the next one is very similar to last year and it's I intend to meditate five times a week at least. Since I got the Headspace subscription from my mom for Christmas, I've been thinking to myself like I have really no excuses not to meditate now. Like I have all the resources I need I just have to like sit down and do it. The last one is probably one of the most important for me and it is I intend to be fully present. Actually, I'll read the full thing to you guys. I intend to be fully present whether I'm on a fun vacation or in class in order to immerse myself in the experience and enjoy what life has to offer. So I feel like that sounds a little bit cheesy, but let me explain. So I feel like in class, I mean, I see focus most of the time, but you know what I mean? Sometimes you kind of like drift off a little bit or like even during like very fun events, like fun vacations or like fun times with my friends, sometimes I'll kind of like be on my phone or I feel like I'm not fully enjoying the experience to like the extent I could be. And I feel like it's really important for me this year, especially because I'm gonna be going to college and I'm turning 18, so a big birthday, big milestones, all those things. Oh, I'm graduating high school. And I feel like all of those big things I wanna be really present for. And then also, I wanna finish the last semester of senior year strong. Another plan of how I'm gonna stay accountable and accomplishing all my resolutions, I'm gonna try to write them all down on like some cute post-its, hang them up around my room, and then I can always like look at them and I'm thinking I'm gonna to try to review them every morning. Another thing I like to do every year, I don't think I've ever shared it on this channel, I like to pick a word of the year. So this year my word of the year is celebrate and I feel like I kind of picked that because I want to be like grateful for every moment I experience. I want to be able to like be present and celebrate every moment, the small and the big. And I think just picking the word celebrate is going to help remind me to kind of, again, be fully present and enjoy all my experiences, be grateful. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope some of my resolutions inspired you guys to maybe make some of your own. It's never too late to make some resolutions, make some goals, and yeah, I will see you guys all in my next video.